Hey everyone, Mo here, and before the video begins, I just want to let you guys know that my schedule has opened up for me to do coaching again. So if you're interested in private one-on-one -on -one coaching for me to help you, whether you're a newer player and you want to excel at the game very quickly and learn the fundamentals without developing any bad habits early, or if you're an experienced player who's already maybe platinum or diamond and you're top 1%, but you need some help filling in the gap to get you to that 0.01% to make you just some of the best of the best, then hit me up on Discord and I can get you in some private one-on-one -on -one coaching lessons to help you polish up any skills you want to refine and help you learn all of the secrets to becoming a top player. That's it. I hope you enjoy the video. Hey everybody, Mo here, and in this video, I'm bringing you another singleton deck. And again, just going on with the same, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, playlist, I guess, of doing just mono regions. And then so we've done Freljord, so now it's time to do Demacia. So Demacia second, I figured this would be super, super easy. Um... Yeah, I figured it would just be super, super easy. It's basically just going to be like a Bannerman deck. You just play mid-range creatures. The goal here is just to play a creature on every single turn, just like you do in actual games with the actual Demacia deck. So uh, this is... I I would expect this to easily go 7-0, maybe 7-1. Seven, 7-2 seven, if I hit against like god-tier decks with god-tier draws, but easily 7-0. Easily 7-0. But yeah, so that's it this uh, for this deck. I'll have the deck code in the description below if you want to try out this very uh, very linear, very fun deck in the description. And let's see how the games go. Oh. All right. Zed. Ezreal. So it's probably just like a full elusive deck, huh? We can keep this early curve. We nut drawn to Lucian here. It would be crazy. Uh, Battlesmith or Reinforcements is pretty cool. I don't think that stops us from playing set 3 on 1. I'm pretty sure just having a 1 drop makes this curve good. Because you just go like 1 drop, 2 drop, blah blah blah. Unless we draw a 2 drop elite, we are playing the 2 mana 2-2 two, two tough elite. So if we draw the 2-2 two, two tough elite, then, you know, maybe it'd be worth it then. Because we can play both of them on turn 3. Uh, but until then, I think playing Sin on turn 3 is just stronger than playing a 3-3 three, three, set 3 on the wasting mana and not playing anything on turn one so we have a turn one jury rig burst attack me for one i respect it i respect it okay so yeah i don't really know what this guy's deck's gonna be uh might be a cataclysm deck we haven't really seen one of those so do we swing in for two let's play this battlesmith sure let's see what he's got let's see what you got here comes the 2-2 two -two elusive unit and in that case we'll still just swing both of these in Cool. Really good looking. Really good looking. Here we take really easy board control here. And then again, just play units on curve. Units on curve. Units on curve. Name of the game. So here we can decide. Do we want to play Senna? Or next turn? Would we rather just play reinforcements and then get to 5-5 five five reinforcements? Honestly, there's no telling. Um, I'm kind of just leaning towards playing the reinforcements, honestly. 5-5 five, five units are big. Um, it'd be really bad if he had a deny. But if he doesn't have a deny, it'd be really good. So we can block here. And that's fine. Okay. And then we go to our turn. And then as long as he doesn't have deny on reinforcements or a way to kill this off, we get two 5-5s five for 8 mana. Which is pretty freaking good here except my man is off so what that means is i'm an idiot oh no guys i can't math nobody told me all right i was just saving it for next turn chat for some reason i was like oh it's gonna be turn four four regular mana and four spell mana is eight mana what am I thinking, chat? Steel Tempest? Sure. No big deal. Goal here is just... Don't die. We'll probably just let the Zed hit us. I don't think it's worth losing our uh, Fiora over. If he doesn't open, that's huge. Uh, deal one damage to all enemies. Aw, oh, boo. That's sucky. Now these aren't 5-5s. Five they're just going to be 4-4s. Four that kind of sucks, but 4-4s are still good enough to block Zed, which is nice. 
no reason to not. And it will keep uh, Fiora alive. Oh, well, that's kind of saddening. So we'll block the 3 2 here. No big deal. Um, I think I probably would have been better with a level Z, but obviously he wouldn't be able to level Z easily. If he had any type of combat trick to give him plus one power, that would have been really good. But it didn't look like he had it, so we're just going to play our units out here. We can play Laurent Protégé and Sinnoh, so that looks like uh, what we're going for. So we're going to play Protégé. Protégé is kind of, it's basically the same as uh, summoning a Valor. It's just going to be a unit that kills off this 5-2, right? And then the difference is Quinn versus Sinna. So is the scout attack for Quinn worth trading into the Zed or maybe allowing his Zed to get a 2 for 1? Or would it be better just to have a quick attack Sinna for, you know, just quick attack reasons and more damage? So here I'm opting opting into the play of no, no priority. This gets quick attack. We can do this. And then this way, if he tries to block it with something like this, it's just going to first strike it down. You know, this would have lived because of 3-4, but I didn't want to give him the option to trade his Zed into my Quinn. I want to make sure that my Quinn levels here. And Singleton, it's a lot like, um, what is the name of the limited mode? Arena. Or is, it's not called Arena, is it? Expedition. It's a lot like Expedition. You just want a lot of value, and typically if you can level up a champion, you win, right? So the goal is to try and level up your champions and get as much value out of your champions as possible. So here, when he plays his Zed, he's buffing up his Zed really big here, which is great because that's giving us a lot of time to just play our Quinn. And then we're going to get in for a shit ton of damage, Chad. We're actually just going to straight up one-shot him because we have all of these units and he has simply one blocker and... This turned out, even with the little misplays early on, of me just completely skipping a turn because I'm a dumb, dumb idiot boy, we still just completely overwhelmed him with units. And that's just how Demacia works. That is literally just what this deck does. If you play this deck, and you copy the deck code, and you play this in Singleton, expect it to work just like this, where you just run your opponent over, and they cannot keep up with you. Even with blunders, even completely skipping a turn. I completely skipped my turn three. Didn't matter. Didn't matter. Still ran his ass over. So, deck's a powerhouse. So, this will easily get seven wins. So, I'll see you. I'll see you in the next game. Oh, no. Oh, no. This guy's also playing Demacia and Noxus. That's good. This guy's playing Demacia and Noxus. He's playing good cards. Um, reinforcements is good, but we're going to want some more mid-range early game units. We play a bunch of two and three drops. We should be able to curve easily. So hopefully we can draw into units to play that aren't just five drops. Um, yeah, if we can do that, we'll be looking A-OK. -okay. It's just going to be who curves out better, honestly. Uh, both of these decks are just probably going to rely on playing units on one, two, and three. But our deck just strictly does it better. There you go. This deck's just that intimidating. Your opponents don't even want to play against you. Easiest wins of my life. I'll see you in the next game. Paid actors, yes. All right, this looks like an aggro deck? Maybe? Full Sid? I don't know. Maybe they just grabbed good guards and sent it. Judgment? Hell, look at this curve. Two, three, four. One, two. Yep, the seven. this is the seventh win. This is a seven win deck. I'm already telling you guys. How do you beat this? This is actually just my... This is just my deck I'm climbing ladder with. This is my ladder deck right here. In the most important game, we drew the most important curve. Like, actually, what... The, oh my god, I'm drawing actual cards! This isn't fair! Only way to make this better is if I drew, like... Sinna, so I can go Lucian 2, Sinna 3. That's the only way to make this better. Yeah, you got me, buddy. Luciano! Um, yep, yeah, Badger Bear. Just get in there. Get in there with the loyal bear. Get in there, Badger Bear.
Get in there with the badger bear. I said get in there with the badger bear. We do this. That way if this does get plus two plus two, it's not like this dies anyways. So Yeah. This actually does not really do too much for him. I can't block Lucian with first strike. And at most it just puts three damage on this thing. So it puts it in like withering well range, but little does he know we have the answer to the whale. And by the whale I mean Yo mama. Just kidding, chat. I'm sure your mama is beautiful. Do you have black spear? Oh, ravenous black, sure. And not that big of a deal. That's okay. I didn't need him anyway. Except I wanted him. Quinn. Wow. Maybe. I was gonna say maybe we get greedy with this and then use it on Quinn, but kind of want to not die. Not dying is nice. Maybe we even go like this. I'm down a block like this. This is fine. I have a Quinn. I saw a board control. Um, I get to play Quinn here. And then no matter what one unit he plays, if it's scary, Valor can pull it and I still get in with the Quinn attack. Um, and then I can get in with the normal Bannerman attack. So if it's not scary, we can send just Quinn. You know? So overall, we're looking okay. I can look, move, Quinn. Get his ass, Quinn. Quinn's one bam, Bad ass. MFA. Why would you play that card? That just don't make no sense. Sure. So again, I'll just take board control here. No big deal. I have more cards than him. And at this point, my units are probably going to be bigger. The only unit I'm scared from him is just going to be his Darius. Because Darius is a pretty... Darius is a dicky. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, chat? There is a little dicky. Show them what we're made of. So as long as, no one's as long as it's just Darius, never ain't no thing. Not. Sure. So we block here. That's fine. He's probably setting up for a guillotine, if I had to guess. That would, in fact, make the most sense. Uh, we are just gonna open here with the scout attack. And then if he does have guillotine and he goes like block and then main phase is guillotine, I'll be kind of sad. Um, hopefully we're okay. Um, now when we attack with Quinn, she levels. And yeah, we'll be looking okay. Um, I do want to just play the most amount of damage possible, which does look like this challenger unit. Callista, no problem. So we swing here. This will pull this. That way Callista does that. Oh no, but that pulls that. What if we just did this? That pushes so much damage. Yeah, I fuck with this. The thing is, I can just kill Callista, but then I take two damage here. And he does nothing dies, right? And I go to nine, which is a pretty scary number. I think I would rather just kill this. How do we want to do this, chat? What if I just killed this? There we go. That looks okay, right? Yeah, we'll do that. This is okay. Oh no! I could have put Quinn in. Oh my god! I was trying to figure out why it wasn't killing it. I had to put Quinn in front of the Scythria. So that way the Quinn triggers first, and then the Scythria triggers, which gives my unit plus one plus one. I was trying to figure out why my unit wasn't getting the plus one plus one from Scythria. That's right. Okay, don't do what I do, chat. Play your cards in the correct order. I could not figure out why my bird wasn't getting the plus one plus one from Scythria. Because in my head, I was like, anything with three health dies. You have to attack first with Quinn. Order matters. Attack order matters. So you have to put your unit first, and then the Scythria. Ruination. No big deal. 
We can just follow it up with some units here, and we're looking good. Start with Redeemer. All right, and we start with Great Horn Companion, and then we just swing in for eight hold damage, chat. Just kidding. We swing in with Scout. Get your five damage on. Oh. Bio Feast. You ain't gaining no life, buddy. He gets a blocker, but he doesn't gain the one life. I don't know how much that matters, but... Who knows? Maybe that matters a lot. But yeah, goal here, just play as many uh, blockers as possible. So, we can play this. Followed by a Lux. And we have Lethal. This is what Demacia brings against Noxus. We are Lethal Gamers. We did it! This deck's nutty! That was crazy. Crazy curve, crazy deck. That just shows you the full power, even in singleton. Just the curve and power of this deck is so nasty. Even with only all 1-ups, it's still the most consistent you could possibly get with a deck of all 1-ups. So there you go. Deck's great. If you want a really good singleton deck, I recommend this one for sure. Deck will be down in the description. The code will be. So... If you liked it, let me know below. Let me know which deck you've seen so far has been your favorite from my Singleton games. Um, but make sure to follow me on Twitch because I stream on there almost every single day. Subscribe here on YouTube because I post videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And join the Discord so you guys don't miss any notifications. So that's going to be it for this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.